centre of Sofia all lit up for the evening nightlife. So, what's your impression about Sofia? I like it so far. Fantastic. It's a nice mixture. And I was saying earlier that I find it you have uh, many, many parts of green spaces. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, that's right. A lot of uh, green parts. There doesn't seem to be a big river. No, oh, it's no. small. It is uh, very small. There is a small river. Do you know, Grassy, what is the meaning of uh, white, red, and green in the flag, the colors? Uh, I don't what know exactly. uh, I don't grass? Know I don't know what it's about the white because. Remember if there is any story any about this. Symbolic. There's usually flags, the colours in flags are supposed to have some significance, although I'm not always sure that the uh, that these um, stories are made up before the flag or whether they're not made up afterwards to justify that a particular flag some, you know, that, uh, was chosen. Maybe somebody simply liked certain colours. And... No, our cultural minister at the moment. Ah, Very we walked keen here. of uh, making stories for everything. We, we walked here, didn't yeah. we, Vlad? Yeah. So, did you buy every, anything now? Near here, there's a book. There's a book, um, a big book fair for used books, for second-hand books. <clears throat> there's a square, a long square, with market uh, stalls out, yeah. and everybody's selling second-hand books. Yeah, this is very cool. What's we it? Sorry, Slovakov? Slovakov. Yeah. Well, that's where we found ourselves. And uh, I bought a lot. I bought, I bought about, I think I spent, bits. I think I, I yeah, I, I spent about two, uh, 215 lev, no, 205 lev, pardon me. I spent 205 lev on books after negotiating so that the prices of the cover prices were a bit higher than that probably closer to i don't know i i i i, I knocked about barking. 50. You, you have well i did yeah because i thought that i thought that i kind of read the first guy that he was up for a bit of a haggle and um later on i didn't think i thought the, the second guy gave me such a low price that i only haggled him down one lev from 16 to 15. But the first guy, I haggled 50 lev off him because I thought he was up for that, for that, and he was. So, um, this is Endicott, you can see. National Palace of Culture. Yeah. Nice. But I've. There are fountains uh, which are in front of it, and in the summer they are with uh, different colors. It's beautiful. But I, I ended up with, with tons of books. And my hands were hurting by the time I got back to the hotel. I said, actually, my fingers had gone numb, but um, just carrying them back. But uh, it you was like them, the books that you bought. Yeah, oh, yes, you're well, very, you're very happy with the. Yes, fantastic. Purchase. I mean, I mean, uh, I think that if I'd have gone to a bookshop and bought them new, um, I could have easily paid three times as much. And there, you know, I didn't buy anything that I would, don't think that one day I would read. I might not read them all off because I'm not going to read much many of them this year, I might not read many of them next year, but they'll all be very useful and I'll read them before I'm through, I'm sure. So they are, they were... Uh, English books? English uh, literature, uh, like classic uh, novels? Well, there, was, or there, was, uh, there was one, Hemingway was amongst them, there was an anthology of Spanish literature in Spanish, there was, uh, there was um, Guy de Maupassant in French, um, there was uh, um, La Gloire de... Uh, Le Gloire de Mon Père by Marcel Pagnol in French, um, and there was um, oh golly, what else was, was there? In English, there was a, most more than anything else. In German, there was a few. In Russian, there was a joke book, and one other book in Russian which I can't remember what exactly. I bought so many I can't remember all the titles this offhand actually, but I um, I got a really big haul of books. You know, it was something that would if you just sat down and read. It would take you all your spare time for a year or two to read through the whole of it. What was the Hemingway book? Farewell to Arms. Oh, excellent. 
You've read this? I like it very much, yeah. I haven't read much Hemingway, that's why I thought oh, I'd buy really? it. But I've always intended to start reading it. I was going to start with The Old Man and the Sea. Old Man and the Sea. Oh, and Lucky Jim I got by, 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 uh, by Kingsley Amis. That's also in the file. If we're coming on to the idea of American literature. I mean, I don't read much American literature. This, this is because in England we're very prejudiced and we think the British writers, plus Doris Lessing from Africa and... British writers and colonial writers that still would call themselves British come first, <laughs> and then uh, the American ones come. You know, probably when you do a when you do a degree in English, then yes, then you cover the American writers. But even up to A level in in, in uh, English schools, you don't really get to, to touch much on American literature. We're more interested in that that the kids that finish you know school at eighteen years of age know their British writers really well, and not that you know American writers start to get in and muddle everything up, especially as they don't really want American spellings and things to get involved. But if you do a degree in English, then of course you start to read American literature then. Do you like Evelyn Waugh? Evelyn Waugh, well, I, I do like uh, the the one thing that I've liked from Evelyn Waugh was Brideshead Revisited. Yeah, that's, that, that's that, one of the best. I that's think. so atmospheric, I thought. Yeah, um, and the, the movie was uh, very close to the book. And a couple of poems of his I've read that I've liked, but I can't quote them offhand. Handful of Dust is another very good story. Uh -huh. It's considered one of his uh, best. And you read these in English or in translation? In uh, Handful of Dust in English. Oh, that's Red fantastic. Red revisited in Russian. Oh, you read that in Russian. That's, yeah. uh, you know, I should, if, I, if I saw that in Russian, I'd get it from my wife. I have it. it. Uh, it's uh, uh, View Bodies is another very good thing. Mm -hmm. It's in one uh, in one book, uh, View Bodies and Red Hat Revisited. Uh -huh. There is a like a anthology of uh, English literature in Russian. Yeah. Well, I, I couldn't believe the quality of the books that this one bookseller was selling, because usually when you when you, uh, for example, Czech Republic, there are antiquariat booksellers all over the place, and you go in and you look at what they've got in English, and it's usually disappointing. It's all the pap. They, they've got the kind of airport literature and they've got tons of it, yeah? And this guy was selling, you know, uh, in German, I think I got... Uh, well, I didn't get Lessing off that guy. I got Lessing off another guy around the corner. All of Lessing's work in, in, in Gothic script. And what was he... Oh, yeah, he also, he also had Les Miserables by Victor Hugo in French. Mm. Yeah? So I bought that as well. I don't know... I don't... I, I don't think I've got it. The problem is I don't have all of my books on my shelves in my house. I've got some. I've got more books than I know about because I've got some that are downstairs in boxes, and I haven't looked at them for a couple of years. And, and I don't remember for sure whether I've got everything, well, everything that I've got down there. I th I'm not sure. I've got something by Victor Hugo, but I, I don't think it's. Um, I don't think it's Les Misérables. I think it's something else. I can't remember what it is that I've got, but it, even if I have, even if I have it, then uh, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm intending to read a bit more French literature in the future, so. Um, um, Victorio Go, it's uh, I don't know in, in English how is it. Let me see that about Gavroche, but I think that he's thinking about this Le Miserable. Le Miserable. Le Miserable. Is, Le Miserable. Yeah, that's what I bought today. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I may have had. Um, the, the Hunchback of Notre Dame before. This is very good. I think I have read this. Mm -hmm. I like Balzac. Yeah. From the French. I haven't read any. Balzac. Do you like Flaubert? Uh, Gustave Flaubert. Yeah, Madame Bovary. Madame Bovary. What I, what I really quite liked is André Gide, Symphonie Pastorale. I don't know if you ever came across that one. I had to read that at school, but I quite liked it. I like Scott Fitzgerald. Yeah. Oh, yeah, The so Great Gatsby. Yes. Great Gatsby and uh, especially A Tender is the Night. Oh, you like that? Okay. You've read a lot of American literature. Yes, because uh, we graduated in uh, such a school. 
we, English language. Yeah, yeah, English language. It, right. it was... Uh, we have read a lot there. Yeah. Oh. It's a the president of the country is a cat for Which one? One flew over the cuckoo's nest, did you say? Uh, By Ken Kesey, One yes. Flew Over the Cuckoo's yes. Nest. Very good book. <laughs> Very good book. Well, I mean, it's amazing how much Bulgarian I understand, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> because <laughs> I was thinking I was in English. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! It's blocked. They're not letting us through to the mountain. Okay. <laughs> have to improvise. <laughs> I like Goldsworthy. It's uh, uh -huh. very, very nice novel. Forsyth Saga. It was. Mm. Uh, it was. Uh, yeah, the film, the film, the, the, the film. series. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's Edith bits of that. Porter. There's bits of that still in the in YouTube. You know, the original Forsyth. Uh, Forsy it's a very good. Uh, Irene Down Porter and Eric Eric Down Porter. Mm. They mm. were marvelous, mm. both of them. Mm. Yeah, that, you can still see that, that in in YouTube, I think. Yeah. And that was a really good. It's a uh, very typical English for me. Yeah, and paint and paint and place or paint and place, which wasn't based on on uh, on such high literature, but uh, which was in the same style. That was also a series which I've seen at snatches of on on YouTube. I think you can get you can probably watch all of it on YouTube, but it's it looks so old now, you know, it, uh, black and white and everything and. But, uh... Brides get revisited with Jeremy Irons. I didn't see that. Really I have, marvelous. I must see it because I haven't seen it. Oh, this is really excellent. What's yeah. going on? <laughs> you are really like a, a Dan Brown heroine, you know that. This is just like a... It's <laughs> 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 just going, you know, less improvising and, you know, and driving, you know, the wrong way up one way streets and things like that. Oh, I know this street. I'm okay. not sure whether it is open uh, oh, to the point where it is going because uh, I have a friend living here. I'm expecting a helicopter to start hovering over us and start trying to do heat sensing on us any second. As I said, there is, there is an answer. There is no answer. There is, I cannot accept answer no. It is impossible uh, for me. Uh, so, I can imagine that, yes. <laughs> it's impossible to be no to have answer no way, so there should be a way. Oof. This is they one have made uh, really big pain with this road. They certainly have, but the new one's gonna be worth all the pain, right? Yeah. Oh. Nice chat about literature. This is signed for Pernick again. Fantastico non stop. I love that the name Pernick. Is it a nice place, Pernick? Pernick? Uh, yeah. No. Awful, no? awful, awful place. place. It's, got a nice, go there. it's got a very nice name. <laughs> um, fa uh, Fantastico non stop. Isn't that, isn't that fantastic? Yeah, Fantastico, they have uh, a good name. They have a good, but uh, also good prices there. Is it like a shop then? Yes, it yeah, is. It's uh, a white cow farm. I got the idea that it might be like a cinema complex, but no, yeah, Fantastico no, no. is a good name for so it. So we are now mall. in the most expensive uh, part. Oh, there's of one of those wild dogs. Yeah, <laughs> the most expensive part of Sofia for houses. And yeah? But the infrastructure, as, as you can see, is so full. Yeah, it's not very well lit, is it? The houses are so here are supposed to be the most expensive houses. Well, that's like Poland, where the where the best houses are in in Warsaw. They've they've barely got roads in front of them. They've got dirt tracks leading to things exactly. that would look good next to South Fork Ranch in Texas. But because they're in the mountains, they're really it, it's a really good place mm. to live in. But they're the the infrastructure is awful. I used to live here and I was named the snow 
green because if there is a, if there is snow, you cannot go out. <laughs> you got you got snowed in, couldn't yeah. come to the office. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the, in these days of the internet, it's not so bad. But uh, um, what happens if you need to see the notary? <laughs> that's the, that's the difficult bit. And frankly speaking, I I don't um, I don't see why here should be very expensive because the infrastructure is so bad and uh, the only plus for me is the air which is clean otherwise it's better to have a house in Sofia rather than out of Sofia and because of the view yeah there must so be some nice views I suppose yes. yeah. I will show you the perfect view I'm looking forward to that And I'm sure my viewers will be looking forward to it as well. This reminds me, you know, of coming out of Bielska Biała. It's a town in the south of Poland. And there's a mountain restaurant that I sometimes go to. One of my favourites in the country, actually. and. Uh, Uh -huh. It is uh, like uh, the major road towards uh, Daimni and Vitusha. Mm -hmm. and Vitusha is the mountain, yeah? Vitusha is the mountain and this is the road. Uh, and it's uh, very popular. Uh, climb Vitusha. Weekends, a lot of people are going up. And uh -huh. It's uh, very healthy, very well, not very expensive, of course, because you just go by foot. So you don't have to pay any entrance you fee? You don't have to pay anything. Okay. And uh, it's uh, really the, the place. It's, uh, there are paths uh, all along the ocean, so it's uh, Perfect thing for Vitushi is that there is a very nice ski slope. Okay. And people are skiing. But it's, it's, there's no there's no snow. Right, so two thousand right. meters, gosh. No snow now, but there is enough snow. So on the left the snow in December and in March the view is nice. Oh yeah, this is the view. Gosh. Well, yes, if you don't mind, I'll take, I'll get my camera out. I won't, I don't have a tripod, but I'll do my best. If, if it's possible. I'll get my, uh, I'll get my better camera out. But there may, there may be fewer lights on then. Yeah, yeah, doesn't matter. Yes, uh, it's, uh, anyway, it's very good now. Okay.